Diabetes affects millions in the United States, yet many don't realize what's happening while they sleep. Are you waking up exhausted, groggy, or drenched in sweat? There could be an unseen crisis unfolding overnight. If left unchecked, this hidden danger could have serious consequences. Let's uncover what is really happening. Number one, too much nighttime insulin. Taking too much nighttime insulin is a major cause of nocturnal hypoglycemia because long-acting insulin such as Lantus, Levomir, Trezeba, or NPH insulin work over several hours. And if the dose is too high, it can lead to a gradual but dangerous blood sugar drop while sleeping. Without food intake during the night, the body has no glucose reserve, increasing the risk of severe hypoglycemia between 2 to 4 a.m. To prevent this, insulin doses should be adjusted based on blood sugar trends. If nighttime lows happen frequently, reducing the insulin dose by 2 to 4 units may help. Splitting a large dose in a half in the morning and half at night can prevent large drops while sleeping. For those using NPH insulin, Taking it with an evening snack or splitting the dose can help since it peaks four to eight hours after injection. Switching long-acting insulin from bedtime to the morning can also reduce the risk. A bedtime snack combining protein, healthy fats, and slow-digesting carbohydrates can stabilize glucose overnight. Options include three-quarters cup Greek yogurt with one tablespoon chia seeds and five almonds, one slice of whole wheat toast with one tablespoon peanut butter, or a hard-boiled egg with five whole grain crackers. Eating these 20 to 30 minutes before bed provides sustained energy, helping to prevent overnight hypoglycemia. Number two, skipping dinner or eating too little. Skipping dinner or eating too little is a major cause of nocturnal hypoglycemia because the body relies on food intake to maintain blood sugar levels, especially during the night when no additional meals are consumed. Without adequate glucose from dinner, Blood sugar levels can drop significantly, especially for diabetics taking insulin or medications like sulfonylureas, glipizide, gliburide, or glimpyride, which continue lowering blood sugar for hours. To prevent this, it's essential to eat a well-balanced dinner with complex carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats. A meal with half a cup quinoa, three ounces grilled salmon, and one cup steamed broccoli provide sustained energy. For those using insulin, Adjusting the dose based on carbohydrate intake is crucial. If dinner is skipped, reducing mealtime insulin, rapid acting, by 25 to 50% or delaying the injection can help prevent low blood sugar. Taking long-acting insulin in the morning instead of bedtime may also reduce nighttime hypoglycemia. If dinner is small or skipped, a bedtime snack is necessary. One half banana with one tablespoon chia seeds should be consumed 20 to 30 minutes before bed. These options provide slow digesting carbs and protein to stabilize blood sugar overnight. Number three, alcohol consumption before bed. Alcohol consumption before bed is a significant cause of nocturnal hypoglycemia because alcohol interferes with the liver's ability to release stored glucose. Normally, the liver provides a steady glucose supply during fasting periods, like sleep. However, when alcohol is consumed, the liver prioritizes breaking down alcohol over maintaining blood sugar levels, increasing the risk of severe hypoglycemia. To prevent this, diabetics should limit alcohol intake, especially in the evening. If drinking, avoid excessive consumption. Stick to one serving, 5-ounce wine, 12-ounce beer, or one, 5-ounce liquor, and always pair it with food. Choosing a snack with complex carbohydrates, a good option is one slice of whole grain toast with one tablespoon almond butter or half a cup Greek yogurt with a handful of nuts, eaten 20 to 30 minutes before bed. Those on insulin should reduce their evening rapid-acting insulin dose by 25 to 50% if alcohol is consumed. Long-acting insulin may also need adjustment, which should be discussed with a doctor. Blood sugar should always be checked before bed after drinking and a glucose tablet or small snack should be kept nearby in case of drop. Number four, exercising late at night. Exercising late at night can cause nocturnal hypoglycemia because physical activity increases insulin sensitivity and depletes stored glucose, glycogen, leading to lower blood sugar levels for several hours after exercise. This delayed effect means that blood sugar can drop unexpectedly while sleeping, 
Diabetics should aim to exercise at least three to four hours before bedtime, allowing time for post-exercise glucose stabilization. If nighttime workouts are unavoidable, blood sugar should be checked before, during, and after exercise. Adjustments to insulin may be needed. Rapid-acting insulin doses should be reduced by 25 to 50% before an evening workout, and basal insulin levels may require adjustment based on medical guidance. Consuming a balanced post-workout meal is essential to prevent blood sugar crashes overnight. A meal containing complex carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats should be eaten within 30 minutes after exercise. A good option is half a cup cooked quinoa with 3 ounces grilled chicken and 1 tablespoon olive oil. Additionally, a small bedtime snack like a handful of almonds or half a cup cottage cheese can provide sustained energy throughout the night, reducing the risk of nocturnal hypoglycemia. Number 5. Sulfonylurea Medications Sulfonylurea medications, such as glipizide, gliburide, and glimpyride, can cause nocturnal hypoglycemia because they stimulate the pancreas to release insulin continuously, even when the body does not need it. Since the effect of sulfonylureas lasts for several hours, taking them in the evening or too close to bedtime can result in dangerously low blood sugar levels overnight. To prevent this, these medications should be taken with meals, typically in the morning or at lunch, to align insulin release with food intake. If nighttime hypoglycemia occurs frequently, a doctor may adjust the dose or switch to a different diabetes medication, such as a DPP for inhibitor citagliptin or an SGLT2 inhibitor empagliflozin, which are less likely to cause low blood sugar. Dietary adjustments are also crucial for prevention. A well-balanced dinner with a mix of complex carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats can help maintain stable blood sugar levels throughout the night. A bedtime snack, such as one small apple with one tablespoon peanut butter, can also provide steady glucose release overnight. Checking blood sugar before bed and adjusting food intake accordingly can further help manage the risk of hypoglycemia while taking sulfonylureas. Number 6. Gastroparesis Delay Digestion Gastroparesis, or delay digestion, can cause nocturnal hypoglycemia by slowing the absorption of food leading to a mismatch between insulin release and glucose availability. When food is digested more slowly, insulin may peak before glucose enters the bloodstream, resulting in low blood sugar, especially during the night. This is particularly concerning for diabetics using mealtime insulin or sulfonylureas, as these medications lower blood sugar based on expected food absorption. To prevent nocturnal hypoglycemia caused by gastroparesis, Meal timing and food choices must be carefully managed. Eating smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day ensures a steady supply of glucose. Dinner should be consumed at least three hours before bed to allow for digestion, with a bedtime snack providing sustained glucose release. A light, low-fat meal, such as three ounces grilled chicken with mashed sweet potato and steamed green beans, is easier to digest than high-fat, fiber-heavy foods, which slow gastric emptying. A bedtime snack like a banana with one tablespoon almond butter or a small smoothie made with low-fat yogurt and berries can provide glucose stability overnight. Medications like metoclopramide or erythromycin may be prescribed to speed digestion, and insulin doses may need adjustment to align with delayed food absorption. Continuous glucose monitoring, CGM, can help detect nighttime lows allowing for real-time blood sugar adjustments. Proper meal planning, medication adjustments, and regular glucose monitoring are essential in managing gastroparesis-related nocturnal hypoglycemia. Number 7. Dehydration and Poor Blood Sugar Control Dehydration and poor blood sugar control can contribute to nocturnal hypoglycemia by disrupting the body's ability to regulate glucose levels effectively. When dehydrated, the kidneys struggle to filter excess glucose from the bloodstream, leading to unpredictable blood sugar fluctuations. This instability can cause hypoglycemia at night, especially if blood sugar drops too low without proper hydration. Additionally, poor blood sugar control, marked by inconsistent glucose levels throughout the day, can lead to sharp declines overnight when insulin continues to work, but there isn't enough glucose in circulation. To prevent this, Proper hydration 
is essential. Drinking at least eight to 10 cups of water spread evenly throughout the day helps maintain electrolyte balance and supports kidney function. Avoid excessive caffeine or alcohol, which can contribute to dehydration. A well-balanced diet, including complex carbohydrates, lean protein, and healthy fats, helps stabilize glucose levels. A bedtime snack like Greek yogurt with a handful of almonds or whole grain toast with peanut butter can provide sustained glucose release overnight. For those on insulin, doses may need adjusting to prevent overnight lows. Long-acting insulin may need to be administered earlier in the evening or reduced based on blood sugar trends. Continuous glucose monitoring, CGM, can help track nighttime fluctuations, allowing adjustments as needed. Proper hydration, steady blood sugar management, and a balanced diet can significantly reduce the risk of nocturnal hypoglycemia. Nighttime blood sugar drops can be dangerous, but they're preventable. Identifying triggers like excess insulin, skipped meals, or alcohol is key. Adjust medications, eat balanced snacks, and stay hydrated to stabilize glucose overnight. Monitor levels before bed and consult your doctor to refine your treatment. Take control and sleep safely. You might also want to watch this video for other nighttime blood sugar crisis. And please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.